I wake up around 8.30 a.m. every day after about 10 hours in bed. I've built the habit of immediately getting out of bed instead of lying on my phone for an hour, which I'm pretty grateful for. Gratitude journaling is an awesome practice I've been preaching on my channel now. You just write down a few things that you're grateful for. Today, I wrote down that I was grateful for the girl I'm seeing for sending me lots of cute texts last night. I was also grateful for the leg workout I had yesterday and that I was grateful for the control I have over my schedule. Being your own boss. I go to the toilet and have my first poop of the day. I'm not gonna record myself having a poop, so I apologize if that's what you came here for, you weirdo. <laughs> I check my weights, I take a picture for my daily MyFitnessPal log, and then I brush my teeth and my tongue. I brush my tongue because I'm not a scruff. It's time for the cold shower. I've been having a morning and night cold shower for just over a week now and it is painful. So here is some advice for you if you've seen all the hype about cold showers and you do wanna start, start small. You only have to build the habit of getting into the cold shower, not actually doing the full length shower. So here's what I do. I turn on the cold water and step inside for a few seconds, contemplating life. Next, I'll usually swear a couple of times, cursing the motherfuckers who recommended me to do this. I have the mindset that I have my entire life to make the cold shower longer so I only do it for like 30 seconds right now. If it's sunny I'll sit in the back garden and meditate outside which I've really been liking recently. I love the sun and the warmth and the blue skies and honestly I can't emphasize to you how much I like that vibe and how happy it makes me. I meditate for 30 minutes every morning without fail. Next I train abs so I'll do a couple sets of whatever ab exercise I feel like doing. Today I did three sets of hanging leg raises and finally I'll hit one set of dips till failure. This isn't my full normal workout by the way, this is just like a little thing I do in the mornings just to bring up some weak areas. Time for some protein to spike up that muscle protein synthesis. <laughs> I currently have my protein salted caramel and I use unsweetened almond milk with two scoops of protein. I don't really like this one. I do like salted caramel, it's my favorite but I think my protein's been going downhill recently, but that's a rant for another day. To get ready for work, I make a cup of coffee with milk and one sweetener, and my treat for doing the morning routine, which is a piece of dark chocolate. I know what you're thinking. What the fuck? One piece of dark chocolate? Why would anyone eat dark chocolate, and especially just one piece? Trust me, daddy. It's Peng. I'm gonna show you how to eat chocolate properly because it seems like most people eat chocolate like they have anxiety. You take a small bite and then sip something hot and then the chocolate melts in your mouth like a pleasant deep throat. Absolutely Peng me. Now I begin my first block of deep work, which if you don't know is a seriously life-changing practice from the book Deep Work by Cal Newport. This will literally save you if you are a student or maybe if you have a little business like I do. If you keep procrastinating, please for your sake, start looking into deep work. It's incredible. It's really helped my productivity and now I've put seven people onto it and they've said the same thing. Sammy, can we have a thumbs up or down for deep work? <laughs> I have a Skillshare class on deep work that you can watch for free. It's like a 35 minute educational course and the link is below so if you want to scroll down click on that link right now you can watch it completely for free. I do 90 minutes of complete focused work with zero distractions. I usually don't even get up from my chair even once during this time. I don't check my phone or emails or anything. For this deep work block that you're watching right now I'm actually writing the script of this video so I could just get up. <laughs> By now you could say that the morning's gone because it's about 11 a.m but I, because I do two blocks of deep work attached to the morning routine. I've included it in this video because it's all kind of one routine. If you want to see more videos from an unconventional small YouTuber, I suggest you scroll down right now, click on the subscribe button and the post notification buttons and do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. That's a pretty sick video, Sam.